Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? My name is Ray Nero Warrior. Welcome back to my channel, Fish and Trips. We'll be back for another vlog, y'all. I got a good one. I got a special one, y'all. I'm somewhere where I have not been at for about seven, eight months. I'm at the Surfside Jetty. Yes, that's right. Y'all, the last time I came to the Surfside Jetty, I almost died. I'm not lying. Almost died. Almost died. Thank the Lord I had some people help me make it back to my show. We'll tell that story on another day or later in the vlog. Anyway, so yeah, man, I'm gonna meet MDLR fishing out here. Um, we're at the Surfside Jetty um, just to see what we can do. The, the weather's not that great, man. We got overcast. The winds are about 10 or 15 miles from the south. Look, if you ever come to Freeport, right, there's two jetties. There's the Surfside Jetty and the Quintana Jetty, okay? The winds are blowing from the south. It pushes the water that way. Right, so you want to fish the Surfside Jetty. If the winds are blowing from the north, then you want to fish Quintana because it pushes the water away from the jetty. So we're gonna try the Surfside Jetty. I got some live shrimp. You know what I'm saying? Mark got some lures. I don't know how you're gonna catch anything at the jetty with some artificial lures, Mark. He's gonna be begging for my shrimp by the end of this vlog. Watch. But anyway, so my goal today is simple. What do I want to do today? Do I want a sheephead, or do I want my favorite fish in the world, Papano? I caught one Papano. It's like crack. Papano crack is what I want today. I want a Papano or sheephead or flounder. Papano, sheephead, or flounder. Beggars can't be choose. I just want a damn fish. I just don't want to get skunk, okay? So, personally, I think I can do it. No, bird. No, bird. No, no. Now you. <laughs> Enjoy the vlog, y'all. Enjoy the vlog, y'all. Let us go. Wait for it. Let go! Think I might be over my troubles Since you can't keep around Something strong All right, y'all, the wind is definitely picked up. I hope y'all can hear me. Uh, what I'm gonna do is get set up. I'm gonna try an ultralight buzz click blade artificial. I'm gonna try artificial first. If not, I'm going back to my live shrimp, set up my jetty rig. We're gonna be out here. Look, check it out. Mark and I are the only idiots out here. So, you know, low risk, low reward. High risk, high reward. The water's green, the sky's dark. I got a feeling I'm gonna catch something big today. Lego. I'm going back up to make my last stand. I'm gonna dust it off with my own hands. Black lizard coming. Old man, keep running. You better get out while you can. We were broke, cold, let in. Out. All right, so the wind has picked up even more, man. It's about 15, 16 mile an hour gusts. I don't know what the hell me and Mark was thinking. We did kind of come down a little bit farther, closer back towards the parking lot because the overspray is killing our camera gear. So let me show you what I'm about to set up. I'm about to go to the live shrimp setup with my jetty port. All you need is slip cord bobber, right? Got a bobber. Some bobber stoppers, some beads, little bitty small hooks, and some slip shots and swivels. So I'm gonna get that set up. It allows me to adjust the debt on which my shrimp can go. We just need one. We just need one. Now when I say we, I mean me. I ain't worried about that man right there. He always gets the fish. I need my own, damn it. Let's go. Huh. 
I mean, there's that secret pier that nobody ever fish at. That one over yeah. There. Yeah. Uh -oh, uh -oh. there we go, Mark. Come on. Let me, let me, let me, let me get your way. I got, I'll go on you. Okay, okay, cool, cool. was a hard day on the water man check it man me and mdr are fishing we've been out here for roughly four hours four hours between two well-known anglers in four hours we managed to catch one whiting between the both of us y'all check out mdr's fishing channel he's gonna make that whiting into some kind of gourmet meal and make it look delicious okay so since i didn't catch anything and didn't get skunk y'all remember earlier i told y'all like you know, last time I came here, I almost died. I don't know if I mentioned that, but the last time I came to the jetty, I almost died. So I guess I'll tell that story because you know, fish in the vlog, so I'm gonna tell you story time. And I probably put in the title, the time I almost died at Surfside Jetty. Y'all be getting mad at me. Renil, you be clickbaiting. Look, man, this is not clickbait. This is a true story, okay? Seven months ago, I came to the jetty. So I'm out there to the jetty and I'm fishing as always towards the very end. The jetty's like almost a mile long, I think. And you know, I'm feeling not so well. All right, I think it's like the heat was, was seven months ago, like July or something like that. So it's hot. Now, mind you, I'm not feeling I'm not feeling myself. So next thing I'm like, ah, I think I need to go home, but I really need to catch the fish for this video. Right after that, I caught my first Papano. If you watch my Papano video, if you haven't, I'll try to put the link to the Papano video. Is this is what I'm talking about, okay. So I caught the popping off, started packing up my stuff. I had my big jetty cart, right? Now like 100 pounds of gear, equipment, stoves, you know, generators, all kind of stuff, right? So I pick up my jetty cart and I start walking. I went about 15 yards and I realized I have no energy. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? Like, I have no energy, I cannot move in. So I wait for about 10 minutes. I'm like, okay, I'm tripping. I go about another 15 yards and I literally cannot pick up my jetty cart i cannot walk and i'm like what the f is going on i started getting like hot i'm like okay this is weird i've never been in a position where physically i was incapable of you know moving myself you know what i'm saying so i'm like okay i'm tripping so i'm like this really try i walk another 20 yards and i just like <sighs> drop all my stuff so i sit on the side and i'm realizing something's not right with me you know what i'm saying and i'm thinking like yo am i having a heat stroke it seemed like it was a signs of heat stroke, honestly. So I'm sitting there and I'm just slowly going 10 yards, 15 yards, resting 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 10 yards, 15 yards. I haven't even reached the halfway point in the jetty and I'm extremely exhausted. I'm sitting on the side of the jetty. I feel myself getting nauseated, y'all. And I just start throwing up, throwing up on the side of the jetty. At this point, I'm like, I'm pretty sure this is a heat stroke. I'm pretty confident this is a heat stroke, right? So I threw up felt slightly better and I'm like okay maybe I can try to make my way back to my truck pick up my jetty cart or go like another 10 to 15 yards I can't move any farther I kind of pretty much start pouring all my water on top of me because it's so hot I'm drinking it I'm so hot and I'm thinking this is the heat stroke right so I'm like do I just leave all my equipment I'm like hell no I'm not leaving thousands of dollars worth of cameras and gear and just try to make it back to my truck and just leave it on the jetty so I try to walk another 10 to 15 yards I wait 15 minutes at this point I fill up again right i threw up again y'all i'm like okay medically this is not this is not good so i'm sitting on the side of um you know freeport jetty and i'm just really thinking i need to call 911 <laughs> i need to call 911 i need medical attention i need medical attention because i can't make it back to my truck you know i'm probably like a quarter of a mile to a half a mile still away from my truck and i'm threw up twice at this point right now, normally when I go out fishing, I get recognized a lot. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to sound like I'm arrogant or, you know, I'm, I'm humble. I'm just saying I get recognized a lot. So this was like one of the time I'm like, Lord, please let one of my subscribers see me here dying so they can help me try to make it back to my truck, y'all. So look, check it. I'm just looking at the sky and I'm staring at the sun. It's about, what, 6 p.m. And I'm thinking, okay, the sun is going to set in about two hours. I'm just gonna just sit here on the side of this rock and pray I don't die. And maybe when the sun go down, I can crawl back to my truck. I am not lying, y'all. This is a true story. So I just gave up at the point. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm not calling 911. They're not gonna put me on no stretcher, you know, and have fishing trips, rolling on no stretcher to no ambulance in front of everybody on no damn jetty. I'm gonna die before I do that. Y'all, 
So I'm sitting there just praying for the sun to go down. I'm totally exhausted. I cannot move. I threw up twice. Next thing you know, I hear two dudes and they're like, hey buddy, are you okay? I got my hat, I'm dressed in like sweat, I'm dressed in water, kind of dressed myself. I look back and there's these two like country white dudes, you know, they don't got no shoes on, they got no shirts, they got both got Budweiser. Like, hey buddy, are you okay? I'm like, no sir, no, no, no. They're like, buddy, do you need some help? I'm like, yeah, yeah, oh, oh, we got you, we got you. I'm like, can you just help me take my cart and just carry my stuff and help me get to my truck? They're like, oh, no problem, but let's go, let's go. So these two dudes, you know, I think they had like a beach house somewhere local. Maybe they were visiting town. They were just trying to just walk down the jetty, enjoy their Budweiser's. You know, they was getting litty and they just seen some random black dude just dying on the side of the jetty. I'm like, hey, are you okay? So these two strangers took my cart and I started following them, right? And they were helping me, right? I'm like, thank God. I can barely walk myself, let alone carry all my stuff. So I'm barely trying to walk and, you know, follow these dudes. And the two dudes were like, just jump on the cart. We're going to carry you. Just jump on the car. We're going to carry you. I'm like, no, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. All right, you, are you sure? I'm like, good, good. So these dudes were trying to just let me say, like, hey, get on the cart. And they was going to roll me back to my truck down there half a mile. Mind you, back at the time, your boy was like 235 pounds. I ain't, I ain't a little boy. So check this out, man. So we going away, you know, back there. Like, you got any water? I'm like, nah, just poured it all on myself. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to water. You know, they only had Budweiser's. So every time we walk by some people, like, hey, you got some water for him? Hey, can we get some water? We'll bring it back to you. So they got some water from some other fishermen, and they're just giving me water and stuff like that. We make it back to my truck, right? These two perfectly strangers load all my stuff into my truck, right? They load all my stuff into my truck, all my fishing equipment. And I'm like, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And they're like, oh man, we're just gonna just wait and just wait for a while, make sure you're okay. I'm like, no, I'm good, I'm good. Are you, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm like, okay. Well, we're gonna come back in 15 minutes, make sure you're okay, all right? I'm like, thank you, sir, thank you, thank you for saving my life, because I was literally about to die. So I'm putting up, you know, I have my AC on blowing, I'm feeling better, and I throw up again outside my truck. I'm like, what the F is going on, right? So I start to drive back home. Now, if you're familiar with the Freeport area, Surfside, maybe like half a mile, from Surfside Jetty, there's a fire station. And I remember looking at the fire station and saying, I'm about to throw up. Again, for like the fourth time. So I pulled to the side of the road and started throwing up on the side of my truck, y'all. I'm like, all right, this this can't be like heat stroke. Why am I still throwing up? Y'all, I drive an hour back to Houston, make it all the way back home. I get home, unload all my stuff, and I throw up again. I'm like, what the hell? So at this point, I'm trying to really think like, what is going on? Like, what, what is wrong? And I kind of realized that the only thing I ate that day is something I normally eat when I go fishing. I have to eat light. It has some beef jerky from um, Bucky's. Beef jerky. I had a whole big old bag of beef jerky. So it hit me. I'm like, yo, this is not a heat strike. I think I had food poisoning. Maybe I had a bad batch of jerky, a spire jerky, some moldy jerky. I don't know. But it took me a while, five times of throwing up before I finally felt better. My temperature went down and I was good. But that is the true story of the time I almost died at the Surf Jetty. And clickbait. Thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.